output decisions, revenues, costs, and profit maximization. To calculate potential profits, firms must combine their cost analysis with information on potential revenues from sales. After all, if a firm cannot sell its product for more than the cost of production, it will not be in business long. In contrast, if the market gives the firm a price that is significantly greater than the cost it incurs to produce a unit of its product, the firm may have an incentive to expand output. Large profits might also attract new competitors to markets. Profit is the difference between total revenue and total cost. Two types of revenue are frequently used when gaining insight into a firm's profitability, total revenue and marginal revenue. Total revenue or TR is term used to describe the total amount of money a firm brings by selling its services or products. It is the price per unit times the quantity of output the firm decides to produce, which is price times quantity. For example, if a firm sells a pair of shoes for $1.50 and makes a total of 10 sales, the firm has $500 in total revenue. It is 50 times 10 is equal to 500. Most companies focus on maximizing the difference between the total cost of producing good and the total revenue from selling those goods. Being able to note the difference between cost and revenue allows marketing and business managers to create business plans that increase production. Increasing production ultimately leads to higher total revenue which results in more money for the firm or company. Marginal revenue or MR is the increase in revenue as a result of selling one additional unit of output or it shows the additional revenue made from the sale of an extra unit. MR is calculated by change in total revenue over change in quantity. Companies that wish to maximize their profits will continue to increase output until the MC is equal to MR, that is marginal cost equals marginal revenue. As long as MR is greater than MC, even though the difference between the two is getting smaller, added output means added profit. When MR is less than MC, companies will typically perform cost-benefit analysis and pause production of goods. Competitive firms typically have marginal revenues that are consistent. This is because the market determines the best price level and firms have little say regarding the price of the good or service. The profit maximizing perfectly competitive firms will produce up to the point where MR, that is price, equals MC. Comparing total revenue and marginal revenue. While total revenue is the total amount made from all sales, marginal revenue only refer to the measurement of increased revenue when selling an additional good or product. As long as the marginal revenue is more than the marginal cost of producing an additional unit, the total revenue will continue to increase. If the marginal cost is more than the marginal revenue, the firm often see a decrease in total revenue. Earning highest profit, an illustration. The figure shows Genine's cost, revenue and profit for various levels of total product. Here, Janine is trying to decide how many workers she should hire and how many pairs of jeans she should produce in order to make the most profit. To make these decisions, she needs to perform a marginal analysis, which is a comparison of added cost and benefits of an economic action. In the figure, we can see that when Janine has no employees and therefore doesn't produce any jeans, she loses money because she still incurs fixed costs. If she has one worker who produces three pairs of jeans, her cost are $1.70, but she only collects $1.60 in total revenue. Therefore, she still doesn't earn a profit. When she hires a second worker and together the two workers produce seven pairs of jeans, costs are $1.02 and revenues are 140 So she earns a very small profit of $1.38. Janine has finally passed the break-even point, the point at which even enough revenue is being generated to cover expenses. At the break-even point, the total cost and total revenue are exactly equal. So in the chart, you can see that A is the total revenue, 
which is price times quantity and b is the profit which is calculated by total revenue minus total cost and c is the point at which the total revenue first exceeds total cost and she Janine decides to produce more and she makes a small profit of dollar 38 and d is the at profit maximization output where marginal revenue equals marginal cost and it is at this point she pauses her production because any additional workers or any additional production will bring her less profit like all business owners janine wants to do a lot better than break even she wants to earn as much profit as possible she sees that as she adds additional worker and produces more genes the profit increases Janine's profit continue to rise as she adds workers up to and including the ninth worker and produces more genes. During the stage of diminishing returns, total production continues to rise, but it rises more slowly. Although Janine is getting less production from each additional workers, marginal revenue is still greater than MC. So Janine hires more workers, produces more and increases profits. When Janine's factory has nine workers producing 66 pairs of jeans, it has reached the level of production where it realizes the greatest amount of profit. This is called profit maximizing output. This level of output is reached where MC is equal to MR, here both at $1.20. After this point, profits begins to decline and for any additional worker, MC is greater than MR. It is at this point Janine pause producing and hiring additional workers.